and why this is the most important election this year in Rhode Island. It's not the governor's race. And exactly why that they not only should, but they really need to vote for you. So uh, we're, we're almost three quarters into a crisis, a uh, pension crisis. And the only thing that's keeping us out of having to actually recognize it and take dollars from you uh, as taxpayers and, and uh, businesses is the fact that our economy has had a nine-year run, a straight nine-year run. I don't think that's likely to continue. And so if you want somebody that's going to manage through a more difficult time, you probably want somebody with experience. I've got 40 years of you probably want someone with a track record. I've got a track record that blows away Ramondo and Magazina. But what you would need more is somebody with all those skills and track record and whatever, somebody willing to jump in and quit what they're doing now and have all the credentials and do it. You know, this is, this is I, I don't mean to make a demand and say this is my last and final offer, but the problems are going to happen over the next 48 years, four to eight years. We're going to have a recession, we're going to have a problem, and we're not in a good position. Our cities and towns, some of them are on the verge of bankruptcy, if not walking dead. We need to address that. The people that are in office now aren't going to address it. They're considered, they're worried about their careers. I'm not. I'm worried about fixing what's here in Rhode Island. For everyone, 